Sports. You have been given full access to the Players' Lounge on the Sports Jack Show with Wayne Gandy. Welcome back to the Sports Shock Show. I'm the Sports Shock, Wayne Candy. Good morning to you. Uh, the truth is in the building. The funny man, Big Kenny, is here as well. I have my great friend on the line. Uh, first round pick out of UAB, future Hall of Famer. Uh, I'm hoping the future head coach at UAB since he wants to get into coaching. Uh, 11 years in the NFL, almost 11,000 yards receiving for... Pro Bowl, 63 touchdowns. Right now, um, all the records basically that belong to a Falcon receiver belong to this man, Mr. Roddy White, who has announced his retirement. Good morning to you, Roddy. Good morning, good morning, good morning. He just woke up, folks. He just woke up last night. It's, oh, we can hear it's it in okay. his throat. Me too. We can, we can <laughs> Me too, and I've been here since 7. I just woke up. Roddy White, thank you for calling in, sir, taking this time. Uh, you say it's official? You sure it's official? It's official. I'm done. Like a referee with a whistle. <laughs> uh, let me ask you this. Can you remember who threw you your first touchdown catch? Oh, man. Mike Vick threw my first touchdown pass. Yeah. Do you remember the game? you remember the yardage of it? Uh, I think it was – I think it was 46 yards. It was against the Saints. Okay. Actually, it was on a. He actually was on a flea flicker. Flea flicker, forty-six yard touchdown. See, we had to test his memory. Yeah. These are the questions <laughs> here. Get at the CTE meeting. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. You yeah. Wanna... Y'all got me on that one. That was a long one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you look at your career, you had a chance last year to uh, maybe sign up with a couple of teams. Uh, what kept you from um, taking those chances? Uh, I, I wanted to get with a winner. You know, I wanted to be in a position where I could win, and and uh, that didn't fall through for me, you know, early on. So, you know, I was just patiently waiting, you know, and, uh, you know, that didn't fall through me. And then, you know, I just decided after the year, I was like, you know, it's, it's just too hard to get back in shape and, and get ready to go in. And, you know, I just wanted to do something different, you know. And, uh, you know, football's been good to me, man. For 11 years, and you know, I had a good time. You know, so um, uh, it was some difficult choices that I had to make. You know, um, I didn't want to move my family and do different things like that. You know, I had some other teams I could have signed with early on, but um, you know, they weren't in a position to win. You know, right then and there. So, you know, um, you know, I just took the option I'd rather just not even trying. You know, not even going out there because I just didn't want to feel like playing meaningless, meaningless football. You know, if I, if I want to be a part of something, I want to be a part of something special. And um, be able to um, be able to win football games and, you know, hopefully win a, win a championship. So, Do you do you see yourself at any point? Um, I know you, it says John Creek High School, but is that just a prelude to maybe the Atlanta Falcons coaching staff? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. It's just when you when you coach at the pro level, it's too time consuming. You know, them guys in the building too long, and I just don't got the patience for that. You know, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> he's, he's retiring. <laughs> so you know, in high school, it's a whole lot different. You know, a um, whole lot less hours. You know, sitting down working with with the office coordinator and stuff like that. You know, play calling is a lot different. So much different things that they're doing. And then you just get to affect young kids' lives. So, you know, that was always something I wanted to do. You know, once I had made it to the NFL was, you know, go back and give out to a community where I can help young kids. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, Roddy, good morning. This is Big Kenny. Uh, prior to the 2016 season, the Falcons decided to go in a different direction. And during that season, they went to the Super Bowl, and everybody knows how tragically that turned out. Was there any part of you that saw that Super Bowl loss and thought, "See, if y'all have kept me, uh, it'd have turned out a whole lot different"? Or were you, <laughs> or, or did you feel pain for the Falcons in that moment? 
No, nah, no, nah, I mean, it was it was a bit of sweet moment for me. You know, um, you know, I know a lot of guys on that team and I, I check for them week in and week out, you know, and um you know, what I did I want to be a part of that team? Absolutely. You know, um they were good and you know, they had a chance to win the Super Bowl and that's obviously what you play this game for. You know, to get to that level, to get to that, that, that opportunity. So, you know, if I could have been on that team, yeah, I would have welcomed every second of being on that team. But at the same time, you know, I did want them to win because, you know, Atlanta's never won a, a Super Bowl. They've never won a football championship. You know, and I wanted them to win it, you know, just not for the players, you know, for the city because they want to win it so bad. So, um, you know, um, they had a good opportunity, you know, some bad calls down the stretch, you know, prevented that from happening. But at the end of the day, man, they got a young team. You know, they got a bunch of talent. So they'll give them an opportunity to get back there again. Do you, uh, This is the truth, Roddy. Do you think that the Falcons will have that opportunity this upcoming season? Um, I think they'll always have a chance. You know, um, as long as they got Matt and Julio, you know, the defense will continue to get better. You know, um, they got really two really good running backs. You know that can that can make people miss and you know hit home runs down the field all day. So they'll be good, man. They got a lot of speed at the wide out position. You know that that can make plays down the field and stretch the field. So I mean, they're gonna be good for a minute. You know, if they can get some help on the defensive line and and get more sacks and get after the quarterback. They'll be fine. I know you've talked to Julio, but have you talked to Matt Ryan since that loss? Yeah, I talked to him a couple of times, you know, and, um, you know, we talked about the game a little bit, you know, but, um, you know, he's put that past him and, you know, he's ready to move forward. You know, there's always hurdles and things that you have to, to get over in this league. You know, for Matt, it's, it's, it's been that way from, you know, making the playoffs to getting to the second round to getting to the NFC Championship to finally making it to the Super Bowl. So, you know, he's made it, so he understands the moment. He understands what it is. So, you know, the next time they get there, it'll be a different result. Uh, Roddy, over the weekend, they announced that the NCAA has uh, revamped the recruiting uh, rules for high school players. You're going to Johns Creek now, which I can imagine is a recruiting um, windfall for the Johns Creek program. How are these new rules going to either enhance or hamper your position there at Johns Creek? I have no idea what the NCAA is doing. They they do whatever they, they feel don't like either. doing. <laughs> <laughs> the NCAA don't either. They just be. The, 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 you know, the, the bowl I mean, system I mean, proves that. I mean, they just come out. They make new rules and they just come out and they just give it to you. you know, <laughs> it, I mean, it's no like my biggest issue with the NCAA is like they don't take the opinions of the people that are actually working inside of the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Like the head coaches and things like that. You know, they just sit around and make rules and give it to you based on what they see or what they see the coaches and things are doing to get players and get recruited out of high school. So whatever they feel need to do, they feel like that off the one year that they've seen somebody do something. Like Harbaugh go out there and, and, and throw camps all over, you know, the United States of America to tell them, well, no, no, no. We watch you do that for a year. You can't do that. That's illegal. So, you know, they just make rules as they go. So it's just... I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. They, I, they definitely are making it up as they go. True. Go ahead. I, I, yeah. One last question from me, Roddy. I, I know you said Johns Creek is where you're going to be and uh, absolutely no to the NFL. What about college? A, have you considered uh, going back to maybe Alabama? Uh, Sports Talk uh, mentioned it earlier. No, no, not at all. Because I, uh, my one of my friends, one of my real close friends that I went to college with, he's a college coach, and um, you know he just tells me the, the time and effort they put into it, and then he says he got to go out there and recruit. And me just in the being who I am, I'm I, I just can't go in somebody's house and recruit their kid <laughs> and just sit down and just and just you know, fabricate stories to try to get them to come there. You know, I just can't do that. It's just, just not who you are. <laughs> I would be the guy that walk in there and say, hey, man, you're coming or you're not. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and tell you how good you are. You know, I'll tell you, you got a chance. You know, I'm watching the film. Hopefully, you know, we can get something done and, and change this environment over here. 
But I'm telling you, I, I'm not gonna sit there and beg and please. And you do it on Skype. Coming. You're not giving graduation <laughs> rates. You like we close to Black Beach Week. <laughs> <laughs> My last question, yeah. and we'll let you go. Uh, you're retired now, so I can ask you this: uh, most overrated cornerback in the NFL. Most overrated quarterback in the NFL? Cornerback, yes. Mm. You say <laughs> cornerback or quarterback? Corner. Cornerback. Oh, man. Say it. Spit it out. <laughs> you don't want to spit it out. Say it. <laughs> it, it is he related okay. to you, Roddy? Is it somebody? Is it a cousin? We won't tell nobody. Yeah, we only got the world listening. <laughs> You know, I don't say anybody's overrated or underrated at cornerback because, you know, it just depends on what the market is and how much they pay you and, you know, what your skill set is for whatever scheme it is. You know, and um, that's the thing nowadays. It's, it's not whether you're the best player at the cornerback position. We're not in the Deion Sanders days where we just sit around and, you know, early in the, you know, the Real Reavers days will – Wherever guys go, you just follow them because you were the best guy, you know. And um, you know Patrick Peterson is doing a good job of that nowadays. But it's so hard to guard these guys nowadays, man. With the athleticism, how good they are, you know, one on one. So you got to be really, really special. But I mean, every day these guys come out and tell you how good they are, and they're the best, you know, cornerbacks in the league. You sound like a recruiter already. You sound like a recruiter. You sound like a recruiter already, Roddy. <laughs> He sounded like I'm a head just, coach right there. That was the coaching response. I'm, well, a lot of I'm guys got talent. Saying, you know, they got, I mean, a lot of guys are just okay, man. But they, <laughs> they get, We still they won't do, mention any names, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they do so much talking nowadays. They get to talk their way to the top instead of playing their way to the top. You, like, 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 they usually, like, back in the day, like, you actually usually had to have to play. You know, to be mentioned as one of the best. Now you could just talk and then you could be one of the best. I heard that. Well, thank you for calling in, sir. I'll let you get back to sleep. Yeah, man. I got to get up anyway, man. It's time for me to start my day. You know, I can uh, Magic City Monday. He loves that retirement already. We'll be back with more of the Sports Talk Show right after this.